So far, 2024 has been a year of AI hardware money grabs. Yet, companies are still putting out AI hardware when things could really just be an app. This little device is called Plod. It comes in silver and gray, and there might be fancy names for those colors, but I don't know them. And it's a little device that attaches to your phone, or it doesn't have to, and use it as a recorder. But it's not only a recorder, it connects to your phone, automatically uploads the recordings you've made, makes really accurate transcriptions using Whisper. And Whisper is something I've shown off on the channel before many times because I use whisper i use it directly to transcribe my voice on the computer on the phone i use an app called echo or ico to do it i have made videos about this before but here you don't really need to do that so it does have a couple of extra features that you don't get with just an app this is not a sponsored video however plod did send me this to check it out and i kind of have mixed feelings about it by the way i have a couple of these this is an older model that i'm gonna take apart right now to see what's inside and i'm gonna give one of them away to you folks and the third one i'm gonna keep because I kind of like some features, but I'll tell you what I really like. I like buttons. I miss the days when phones used to have actual physical buttons. I really love synths and effects processors that have a dedicated button for each feature instead of scrolling through menus because I like efficiency and nothing's more efficient than having a physical button to do one specific task. That's why we still have these so we can type quickly. Well, that stuff is being slowly taken away from us, right? We now have flat pieces of glass that come constantly morph what buttons and what user interfaces they show and you have to relearn it and when the app changes you have to relearn the app this is why apple is adding new buttons to their new iphones is because people miss that stuff i don't want to have to press four virtual buttons to get into my camera on my phone yes i can record audio in the audio recorder app on my phone and then i can upload that audio and have whisper transcribe it with near perfect accuracy and then have chat gpt summarize it and make bullet points and that's why this device, while it is riding that whole AI hardware wave, and you might think, oh, it's just another one of those. But this device does give you a few things back that we were lacking. One, its main feature is it has one button, this hardware button right here. When you press and hold it, that little light comes on. See it right there? It's part of the A. That's clever. And that's telling me that right now I'm being recorded. Now, this can come in handy while I'm doing meetings or while I'm in a lecture hall, for example instead of taking notes this will automatically record the conversation from multiple people by the way it'll do speaker diarizationization which means it'll tell you which speaker is speaking it'll transcribe the entire meeting or lecture it'll give you a complete summary of that automatically and it'll give you a mind map based on the summary these are all things we can do manually but this thing does it automatically and with a custom hardware switch so theoretically i don't have to take my phone with me i can take this and have this in my pocket you know if i had a pocket or just have it laying on the table and it's very thin so it can even fit in your wallet and at the end of it you will get a recording not a high fidelity recording it's going to be the lowest possible quality because this thing can hold this many hours so here you don't need to worry about running out of space it'll clean up your voice and record just enough so it can transcribe that voice now they did win some design awards and this thing does look pretty sleek however i have to question this text right here between the button and the switch why does it say dual engine there and what does that switch do? And what does red mean? And what does the other side mean when it's not red? Can somebody tell me that? I really don't know and I have to look it up. It's not very clear, so I would not give this a design award. <laughs> but what that switch does is, uh, it says dual engine. One side of the switch will do the recording. You flip it to the other side of the switch to do a phone call recording. So if this is touching your phone, you can actually record the phone call conversation with the other party on the phone being recorded as well. Well, what it does is it senses the vibrations coming from the earpiece and translates that it's ultra sensitive or whatever it does, whatever technology is built into it. It's pretty cool. It's like those um, vibration conducting headphones, right? Don't quote me on that. But it can record phone calls in that other mode and transcribe those and summarize those. So if you are in a meeting on a phone, you can do that as well. When you open your Plod app, everything that's been recorded here automatically gets transferred over. Yeah, it's going to be the lowest 
possible quality because this thing can hold. Now, one thing I don't like at all is something we are getting, unfortunately, too used to doing, and that's paying a subscription cost. Now, this thing does come with a generous free tier, but eventually you're going to run into the subscription model. So that's a downside of this particular item here. Now, here is the summary of what I've just been recording, and it's pretty cool. I mean, you should be used to it by now, right? If you ask ChatGPT to summarize something for you, it does a pretty good job, and that's one of the, you know, great uses of AI these days and this thing uses chat GPT behind the scenes so here's the summary and here is a mind map of that conversation that I had basically talking and discussing this thing itself all right let's get in here this is using a little t3 tiny little t3 screw four of them I can't even see that small but oh <laughs> where are you going little guys wow that is tiny this thing pops right off and immediately something fell out so I don't think I'll be putting this one back together because I'm not Lewis Rossman I can take stuff apart but i can't put stuff back together <laughs> there's our button cool there is some magnetic material here i think these are magnets yep there are magnets down here and the magnets are there so they can attach to your phone by the way because this thing is so thin they can't use like a usb-c charger for it so there is a proprietary little plug that attaches to the back of this thing ah that's what these magnets are for too because they hold the charger in place to be honest with you i don't even know why i took this apart it's not like i am uh, an electronics guru i just happen to have this nice little kit that i recently got so i might as well use it and we can see what's inside there's a little vibration motor here and i think that's this right here and there's this this kind of chip or something what is this thing folks that's the battery let's not mess with the battery because that can probably uh, explode or something yeah probably not a smart idea to try to take that off or bend it so i'm not sure if it's supposed to be bent probably not it says 400 milliamp hours 1.520 watt hours 4.35 volts but from using this for a little bit i can tell you that on standby this thing lasts for months <laughs> It lasts a while and it's smart enough to kind of turn itself off when it's not in use and I don't ever have to worry about it. It's off right now, but it, yeah, I can wake it up instantly by pressing that button and we're good to go. I don't think I can do much here. If anybody is curious though, there are the chips right there that are on board. The main parts of this are battery, microphone, vibration motor, and it has Wi-Fi. So you can connect to it and do a fast transfer of data if you need to do that. You don't have to use fast transfer, but you can. So what can I say about this thing? Well, is it for everybody? Absolutely not, especially because it costs 159 bucks for this thing. And also there's a subscription fee, an ongoing subscription fee. Do I use it once in a while? I do. And there's certain circumstances where it comes in handy. I have used it to generate ideas as I'm walking my dog. I have used it to record a meeting, although it was just an attempt to try this thing out, to be honest with you, because now even meeting software has AI built in to do the transcription for you and summaries. Have I tried this in in a lecture hall i thought about it but i haven't been to college in a long time so i'd be sneaking in and i don't think that's fair to all the students but i would have loved to have this in school when i was still in school i canceled my r1 order that wasn't a real r1 and luckily they were able to cancel it i do have another ai piece of gadget coming in here i've been waiting for it for a while it's the limitless pin i'll take a look at that as well let me know if you want to see any more of these because these are interesting products but they're not for everybody and i find that i always have my phone on me i don't always have this on me and when i have my phone on me i kind of get used to just opening up the chat gpt app directly and chatting with it if i need to bounce some ideas off of it it's just so easy now and the chat gpt interface is not difficult <laughs> it also has one button even though i have to get through a couple menus to get there first would i buy this right now i would not buy this right now for my own personal uses but maybe you could use it somehow leave a comment down below if this is something you would buy for yourself and what will be the use case so that's the plod note at least we know it's not a scam i want to take a moment to thank the members of this channel i do make extra videos for members including one how i set up the ico app with my workflow with a triple tap on my phone if you do want to be a member there's a button right down below it might be here or it might be there to join the channel thank you so much members and check out this video where i show you how to set up olama on your mac locally so you can run all the stuff locally yourself with a web ui thanks for watching and i'll see you next time.